Okay, uh, let's define the limit and uh, start the, the concept of limit. Uh, what is this limit? Uh, first, we look for the limit of our function. Uh, the limit is always at a point. What is the limit, uh, the concept of, of limit? Let's first, uh, let's look for an uh, example. If y equals x squared, what is about when x uh, tends to 0? We, we know that when x tends to 0, for example, if x equals uh, 0 0.01 then y equals 0 0.0001 and uh, x is 0 0.0001 then y equals 0 0.12345 uh, that means uh, we can uh, we can go on for x. That means when x uh, closer and closer to uh, x gets closer and closer to zero uh, y uh, can be arbitrary and be arbitrary close to zero because we can let uh, x closer to zero and y can be arbitrarily close to zero so this gives gives the concept of the limit the definition is uh, this definition is informal uh, not the precise definition of the limit. We say that uh, f uh, f the limit of f x equal to l when x approach to a means x when x closer When x gets closer and closer to a, fx can be arbitrarily close to l. Or we we say that uh, the distance the distance between f x and l can be uh, can be up uh, can be uh, smaller than any positive number. Because the distance is positive, then any positive number uh, provide 
x is close enough. close enough to A. Uh, the later one is a little more formal. Uh, uh, some advanced textbook use uh, the, later, uh, the, la the later definition for uh, limit. That's the informal, informal definition for a limit. We will uh, study the formal de uh, definition for limit later. So, uh, use this definition, we can see that some, some uh, elementary, some uh, limits for elementary functions. For example, if x tends to 0, um, x tends to 0, that's x squared uh, plus 3x minus 5, that equals negative 5. When x tends to 0, x tends to 0, x squared tends to 0, and 3x tends to 0. And, uh, Limited when x tends to two or pi over two sine x, we know that this is one. From the graph, as here as one as pi over two. When x tends to pi over two, maybe from different different uh, uh, direction, and the limiter. Mm, x tends to 0, e of x, that is 1. And uh, limit x tends to uh, pi over 2, uh, cosine x, that, that is 0. Actually, from uh, those examples that we know that for any uh, elementary elementary functions, the limit at that point uh, equals the value, the function and the value of function at, at that point. Okay, that's the definition for for a uh, limit. But uh, we sh uh, should note that uh, uh, fx may not fx may not defined may not be defined at x equals a. That means f a may not have meanings. For example. If we let x tend to 1, x squared minus 1, x squared plus x minus 2. The function and uh, the function is not defined at x equals 1, but, uh, but x can be tends to 1. Uh, the, the limit does not de does not depend on fx at that point, the value at that point. So x tends to 1, that is, that is x is not equal, not, and x uh, does not equal 1. So we use factor, factoring. The nominator can be factored by x minus 1 times x plus 1. The denominator is x minus 1 and x plus 2. So x does not equal 1. So we can cancel the factor x minus 1. Then x tends to 1. The denominator tends to 2 and the denominator tends to 3. So that is 2 over 3.
Okay, that should be, I uh, should notice this point. Okay, the second concept or definition is the left and the right limit. The left hand, uh, limit and the right limit is defined when x tends to 8 left equals L, means x approaches A from the left, and uh, the the other the other part is the same as the definition of limit. When x tends, to, uh, the right limit is defined if the right that's the limit. That's the limit. Is the limit the uh, we say that is the limit of function of f x as x approaches to a from right that from the right of a. The left limit and the right limit. For the graph, may, maybe the left limit, this is A and this is Fx. This is L, uh, this is A. This is A, this is L. From left, uh, from left is from the left of A, so the limit is from this direction, and that's right limit from the right. X from the right of A, we got us another limit. And then from the definition of left and right limit, and the limit of function at that point, we have the zero. If fx has limit at one point, the if and only if the left, left limit and the right limit are equal. From the definition of limit, and right, left, and right limit. There are some examples. Example four. Example four. Uh, if f x equals absolute value of x over x, how to find limit x tend to uh, the right right limit of zero and the left hand uh, right uh, left hand limit and the right hand limit and uh, at x equals zero. The solution is we take the right at uh, the left hand left limit when x from uh, when x tends to zero from the left that means x less x is less than zero x is less than zero its absolute value can be uh, can be right as negative x then over x we say that x does not equal zero just tends to zero so we can cancel the x so the limit is negative one and uh, when x tends to zero from the right 
from the right that is x is positive, so the absolute value of x is just x, so the uh, limit is 1. And then the left limit does not equal the right limit. So the limit at 0 does not exist. Does not exist. That's the left hand left limit and the right limit. And this the left uh, limit and the right limit are always applied for piecewise function. If f x equals three uh, x square minus two when x less than zero. Four uh, x four mm, x plus three when x greater or equal to zero and uh, mm, x equals x square uh, x square plus 2 uh, as x greater than 0 greater or equal to 0 less than 3 that's x greater or equal to Two, three. So find limit x ten to zero, the left hand and right hand limit of as x equals zero and uh, x equals zero f x and uh, x tends to Three. The left and uh, left limit and the right limit at three, and the limit at three. Solution is x change to the x change to the left of 0, fx. When x tends to from uh, tends to 0 from, from the left, that means x less than 0. So we use the first part of fx. That is 3x squared minus 2. So that is negative 2. And from the right, we use 4x plus 3. Because x is greater than 0 and uh, tends to 0, is close to, close to 0. It's close to 0, in, it should, must, must be uh, less than 3. That is 3. So the limit at x equals 0 does not exist. For x uh, tends to 3, the left hand, the left limit, we use 4x plus 3. 4x plus 3. That is 12 plus 5 plus 3. X change to 3 negative uh, positive fx as x squared plus 2. That is 11. So as before, 
the limit at x equals 0 does not exist. Okay, that's the piecewise function. And the third part is infinite limit. Uh, first, let's look for the example is y equals 1 over x. The graph for y equals 1 over x is like this. So as x from uh, x for uh, x from the left of zero, we write it as uh, the limit as uh, negative infinity, and the right. That is positive infinite because when x changes to zero from the, from the left, the x can be smaller and smaller, and its uh, absolute value is arbitrarily large. So we say that this is negative infinite. Uh, the definition is. When x tends to a f x equals negative infinite, that means f x can be less than any given number or any fixed number as x q a. And uh, the definition for x tends to a f x equals positive infinite means f x can be greater than any fixed number as x tends to a. And from this example, we know we should note if x tends to a f x equals positive or negative infinity then 1 over f x is 0 and if f x tends to 0 from the from the right then it's a reverse as positive infinite and f x tends to zero from from the left then x tends to a one over f x that is negative infinite the same as here the same as uh, we can add one we can add one inequality from actually from here uh, some examples sex example six number x tends to zero one over x square 
that is positive infinite. But when x tends to 0, the positive from the from the right sine 1 over sine x that is positive infinite and uh, when x tends to from the uh, left sine 1 over sine x that is negative infinite because when x uh, tends to 0 from from the left sine x is negative and the sine x tends to 0 is negative from the left, so it's negative infinite here by this result. And uh, when x tends to um, pi over 2 from the left, tan of x that is positive infinite and uh, when x tends to pi over 2 from the right the tan x equals negative infinite because uh, sine x tan x is sine x over cosine x when cosine x tends to pi over 2 it tends to 0 but uh, if x greater than pi over 2, the cosine x is negative. When x less than pi over 2 is, uh, is positive. And we also can from find the limit from the graph of tangent x. The graph of tangent x is like this. So from the from the right is negative infinite, and from the left is positive infinite. Okay, that's the basic. Uh, that's some basic definition or concepts for limits. Uh, for how to compute the limit, uh, we will talk uh, talk it, uh, talk it later the next video.